，刚才有后勤科长叫叫叫动物局，动物局长，动物局长，他们那三年，他们说拜托了，他们帮了，帮了，这下子是才刚刚那种，那年刚刚那年，那年刚刚那年，对，那年刚刚那年，那年刚刚那年，那年刚刚那年，那年刚刚那年，那年刚刚那年，那年刚刚那年，那年刚刚那年，那年刚刚那年，那年刚刚那年，那年刚马，我去的是香港进步。香港只要申请这个网络签证，马我就被退退出了。都马虎，下面就进入那个开点飞机，对对对。我到来观察，我知啊，我知啊。所以哦，那边不能飞了。所以我香港转机嘛，阿布达比的。根本就进不了香港，哦，不能入境的。我一入境就死了，还好我太太替我拿行李啊，她在酒店，我要在里面等到病人这样，我不敢出去嘛。出去你俩去香港哦，对对，香港单，我现在知道，因为拿不到签证啊。你无大英飞面，飞面，你无大英飞，你也买行李不？以前曾经啊，还那个二三十年前。后来我跟他绝交了以后，我就不敢了。那时候，那时候有包车。有，我们在那个六四那个时候，六四的时候哈，我们有一次是那个世界音乐会在北京嘛。那个已经是两三年前已经不进了。那你不能因为他六四你就不去了。对，那次是 P T G t e s 的带我们去。台湾，那然后美国的，然后英国大陆去了。所以他很欢迎，没有人要去啊，你知道吗？但是我们去是像大爷这样欢迎嘛，你整个世界都抵制啊。嗯呵呵后来就没办法，所以后来香港有替我们地下电台出了一个专辑，嗯，台湾的地下电台，全部都写两三页，你知道吗？哎，叫做戏啊，列入列入，哎，列入列入，从那次以后就完全不敢去。谢谢谢谢。一次游行要一两百万，去哪里的？要香港。自由行一两百万。哦，你说一两百万人，对，轮来轮去。他们现在，大家用轮流的，很厉害，很厉害，他们很聪明。已经已经九个礼拜，再进两个新加坡，进去。跟你讲了，解放军会进去，对，会进去，会进去。这个不可能，不可能，我不能耍。关于咱民主要怎么走？台湾以前哈上街头的那一套，他们现在才学会。就是今天父亲节，他没有别的办法，他没办法，真的没办法。他不是要来做设计他就是排骨啊，那不是吧？哦。虽然说意大利人也很大上哈，可是他的创意啊，在文艺复兴的时候，包括所有的艺术，十件九件都在意大利被发现，包括达文西的解剖啦，那个布兰卡索洛和那些人的眉骨被发现的，传染病都在各个地方。哦，对对对，那个，刚才给给蛋糕。他已经提蛋糕了，哦，有啊啊，容易，恭喜，容易，容易，好怪啊，好怪啊，我们这个暑假真的是不像人在，好事啊，好事啊，所以啊，再接再厉啊，再。下次下次遇到可爱的时候，麻烦你。我说我们没问题。我们这进入是那个威廉，威廉，哎，威廉，威廉，六吧，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六，六
，看他还能再复振上去。哎，今年的小学的新生。以前是他的六千的，是啊，是啊，跟去年比较，小学一年级的小入入学时间是六千，人家说可以一次性，对啊，对啊。政府应该要补助我们六十岁以上的，在在外，包括正正式以外还可以有测试，哎，像那个服饰有没有？服饰啊，为什么是？嘛是都是用美国。但是早跟他来哦，书信来往也是后来我们才知道。他、啊、曾经住在他那边，让你懂哈。哎、嗯，他这个就是所谓的，所谓的空间赎罪化的。空间赎罪化，就不去的时候，生命力是很就成长。美国都无啊，不能美国都无啊。到台湾会赎罪化吗？到台湾那个你两搞。<笑><笑><笑>那要求。OK， everybody， good afternoon. Happy Father's Day. Okay， may we have our president just to bring the opening. Good afternoon, everyone. The four-way test. Rotary, please all rise for the four-way test. The four-way test of the things we think, say, or do. First, is it the truth? truth? Second, is it fair or unfair? Third, where you move, where you manage it. Fourth, where you manage it or unfair. Please proceed. Rotary song. And we have PP Pass to lead us. Thank you. Okay. In the introduction of visiting Rotarians and honorable guests, may we have Rotarian team? Hello, everyone. Today we have four guests. Uh, the first one, invited by Joey. Chen Muchun is our speaker. The second one is the Jun Zhi. And invited by Joey, Zhang Jiayu, Xiao Jie, Angel, invited by Joey, and uh, Chloe, Essence. Thank you. Thank you. President Tony, now we have President Jess. Hello, uh, first of all, fa happy Father's Day to all the fathers here. I believe we're all fathers, right? <laughs> uh, to the um, gentlemen here. And by the way, correction, uh, it was uh, Chen Chun Mu, not Chen Mu Chun. <laughs> okay, a uh, few things I want to go over. Uh, we had a moon festival inform uh, informal meeting, but uh, not many people attended because it was pretty rushed. And then um, we try with a how do you call that stone to grill meat, and then um, did it, did it went well? Did it go well? Yes. Yes. Okay. And then it looks very yummy. So uh, let's look forward to our our coming event. Uh, by the way, thanks P 
people thanks everyone to attend the big his uh, joy, uh, joy memorial was very um, emotional and very um, sacred. So um, thanks again for coming. And also, uh, our PPU was invited for a speech, topic something about male stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and then uh, some of us uh, um, attended, so it was great. Thank you. So, okay, thank you. Thank you, President. Okay, Secretary, Secretary Stein. Okay. okay, we have all this board meeting after today's meeting. Uh, all the board members, please reserve your time to attend. And also, a full month cake. Yes, <laughs> yeah, okay. yes. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, everybody will receive a uh, cake, the full month cake, uh, to share with everybody. With our joy. Thank you. Okay, next. Okay, today's really quickly. We okay going to. Uh, we're getting to our main program today, so let me introduce uh, today's speaker. Okay, today's speaker is Chen Chunmu, uh, Dr. Chen Chunmu, uh, Dr. Frank, we call him Frank. And uh, the topic for today will be equal right to English learning. Um, this is the introduction for, the doc, uh, for Dr. Frank, okay, he's actually living in Seattle right now, okay, and <coughs> For the last part of the year is they having a group which is helping <coughs> helping some that uh Shi Jia Ting. They they are not rich or uh, but they can they were thinking about how can we give them the equal right for English learning. A couple of years ago I was talking to him about the internet learning but that, at that time that was not really famous, okay. <coughs> For my main job is Joy English, and why I was thinking, how can we help some other people to learn English, but they couldn't come into, or they don't even have the financial uh, or the standard to come into the crime school. And recently, their group was did a very good job with that internet learning. So this year, we will try to cooperate with them to choose one of the school to choose one of the school to do the internet learning with English and hope uh, by today's speech we can cooperate with them and even introduce more uh, the groups or even the schools they need some help then I do believe the systems the corporations they can help everybody to learn the better English. Okay, so let's welcome today's speaker, Frank. Thank you. Can you hear me? Okay, great. Uh, sorry for, I don't receive any dress code, so I, I dress casually. And thank you for Jerry introduction. And thank you for inviting me for today's talk. This is my second visit to your group. I'm very impressed. By all of you, you look so young as many years ago. As <laughs> okay, uh, my name is Frank. I'm the founder of Association for the Advancement of Online Tutor. And the reason why I found this uh, nonprofit organization is because couple. I mean, many years ago, I think it should be ten years ago, when I talked to uh, a young man. Uh, he was graduate from junior high school. He told me. I don't like English at all. I don't want to learn English anymore. I'm so happy. I'm no longer under the pressure of English learning. I'm so shocked. And then I dip into this problem because uh, my company, we, we provide the online meeting software to our Ministry of Education. We provide the software, and the ministry administration they have they found an operation called eCompanion. They are they I think they are uh, more than twenty university join this program provide one on one uh, after school tutoring to the uh, elementary school and junior high school. And then I'm wondering because I that's 
that's why I have a chance to visit those uh, uh, school and then I talk to those uh, students. Uh, I want to find out uh, is is a good idea to study to to learn uh, uh, subject or English online. I want to see is my our software uh, fulfill their expectation. So I have I have chance to talk to many students, and it is because I I'm very concerned about the English learning in Taiwan uh, because I think this is a big issue, and because Taiwan's family spend a lot of budget. On educating the kid to speak English, but to me, I, I only saw the elite group like you. You can you, your English is good, but somehow those uh, bottom line worker, they they are not really they really don't want to open their mouth to, to speak English. They don't they don't have confidence to communicate with foreigner. Even 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 they know. I think they already have learned English from junior high to high school and college, but at the end, they don't have confidence to express their idea, even communicate with foreigners when, when they have a chance to, to share their idea. So that's why I, I think why. So I found this organization try to find out what is the cause of the problem because our education system, our family, we invest a lot of money to teach our kids to speak English. But how come the result is not as good as we expected? So today's talk, I would like to talk about the equal right to English learning for the lower third students. Because for those good students, they really speak good English. My concern is why the lower third, I mean the lower third is in the the children, they, they don't have a good English and grade, they, their exam fail, and they don't want to touch English anymore after their junior high school or high school. So the question, the first question is equal right to English learning. Maybe some of you think, our education, we, we, all, we provide equal right to every student, right? Yeah, of course. But how about the right to learn English? Why this is so important? Because according to Robert, Robert Brushfield, uh, the former editor of Oxford English uh, Dictionary, he mentioned English become the uh, we call it a lingua franca. It's a it's a it's a Greek. It's a it's a it's become a common language used by all educated person in the world, and English become a, a lingua franca. And then he further expressed that the the. As far as the global community is concerned, if you don't know English, you lose the right to share knowledge with people from other countries. You lose the right to communicate. You lose the right for communication and knowledge sharing. You, you are deprived from the right to talk to other people. And he even put this deprivation, this take away the right, comparing to the Poverty, comparing to poverty, famine, and disease. He called this linguistic deprivation. You, you're right, I mean, take away because you don't know English at all. You cannot speak freely to people around you. You, you, have, you lose the right to participate in the global uh, issue like global warming or some economic, economic development. So I think this is a, a big problem. So why, why this is so important? You, you should have an equal right to learn. Because in, in our school, we provide, we provide a good English program. So we call it the, the, the in-school. Even though how, how well you taught your student, they still have a distribution. Now you know, uh, the majority, few of the people, Few of the students, they speak good English, but majority is pretty fair. They speak fair English, but there are still many young people, they, their English is poor, even under the standard education program. But we all know that they, they have an off-school English program, after-school English program. And a rich kid really learn better than a poor kid, on the average sense. Because you, you do provide a lot of resource 
to help your kids speak good English. But for those kids in low-income family or in a remote area, they don't even find a good teacher. Eventually, their English is really not as good as those students from the regular or high-income family. So the green, the the orange curve is mean that if you only consider in-school education, this is a distribution like this. But if you consider the family income impact or the remote area impact, the distribution will be more like a green shape. And the lower third, the lower third is focused is actually one of I'm talking about the lower third is focused on the low income and the remote area. According to the academic report, after three years of learning, over one third of the junior high graduate they build up negative attitude, negative attitude toward English learning. Over one third of the junior high graduate they don't want to learn English because I think doing consider this. Uh, if you are a junior high student, this is your first first day in the English class, the first day. And the student sit beside you. He can speak English. And better, much better than you. And you have no idea about ABC. You 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 will have difficulty to read from A to Z comparing this. So there are there the, the discrepancy on the English level on the first day of the junior high, you have a big difference. Some are very good, some are fair, and some are really bad. They don't recognize the 26 alphabet. Consider you are the teacher, you are the teacher. You are facing your student with such kind of discrepancy in their English ability. How can you teach? So all the teachers, they just follow the standard procedure. Exam after exam. That's the best they can do. And those poor students fail and fail and fail and fail. Three years of discouraging and frustration. They come out uh, they come out an excuse to protect themselves. When they say, How come your English is so poor? They always say, I don't like English. This is the protection. If I don't like English, so that's why my English is poor. I don't like it. So actually the problem is before the junior high school. The problem is in the elementary school. The low income family, they don't have after school English program. They don't have chance to learn English well enough to compete with their, with their peers in the junior high. So actually the problem is really, if we don't solve this problem, actually the situation will become worse and worse because uh, the e economy development is really becoming like becoming too extreme. So, so that's why when I realize this problem, you know, to solve this problem, I think, okay, we better provide equal right to learn English in the elementary school. Even for those families, they don't, they don't have money, they don't have budget to send their children to after school program, maybe we should provide this. So, okay, some people, I have some conversation, I, I, I mentioned this problem to some uh, professor or some people. When we try to focus on providing free English class to the low income family, some people told me this is not a priority. The priority should be, you know, helping them have a good life and stay with them. And they say English learning is uh, is kind, kind kind of a privilege. I said no, because for those lower third, consider because the junior high school is a very important period for a, for a young man's character building. Junior high is very important. To become great or become a, I, I, sh I should say bad, or become a, a, a 
every young man could become a better person than he thought he was. But with, uh, with just because of English, uh, he cannot compete with his uh, colleague, with, he cannot compete with other students. He build up the learning attitude, become quite negative. And even the, 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 the failure in the English class will bring the same feeling toward other class. So this will also affect a young man's self-esteem. And even the young man survive the high school when he attend the college, because right now over 95% youth can go to college. Even he go to college, most of the textbook use English. So it will affect uh, his development in his career. So even the, the even not only the higher education, even the career development will be affected by his uh, ability of reading or comprehend or English comprehension. And eventually it will impact the workforce development of a country. Uh, I just take one example, a quick example. Taiwan is very famous for the OEM. Do you know why? Because only the manager speak good English. So the manager deal with the customer. But how about a bottom line worker? No. If you want to bring your brand name, you, you need your bottom line worker to communicate with the customer because customer, if customer has a problem, they are not going to talk to the manager. They want to talk to the bottom line worker. So this is why managers speak good English, but bottom line worker didn't speak good English. It implied, even you are international company, maybe you, are, you, you will end up with the OEM. So this is, this is all the issue. It, for, this is uh, one of my friends from India. He, he want to deal with, he want to have his order to be, to, to, to be done by the Taiwan company. But once he have, a, he have a question, he already have to talk to the manager. But he won't say, he told me he wants to talk to the bottom line engineer because he wants to know the real problem. But always goes to the manager. This is not, this is not right. So. So actually, the negative impact of the poor English learning will eventually will be affect uh, to the to the workforce development. So how about the solution? So the the AOT the this this organization, I think the solution is quite simple. You free for the low income learner, okay? You you solve the their, their family income problem, and you provide online to the remote every to to the remote village. Because if you send a, a real teacher to the remote village, he cannot stay there for, for years. So you provide online to the remote village. And we target only the elementary uh, middle grader. Usually we start from the three and the, the uh, uh, grade three or grade four. We hopefully, we, we, we hope this curriculum can be finished before he graduates from the elementary school. We, want, we only have this uh, two or three years to make sure uh, this Kid, he feel confident about English learning. We will make him. We will make him or make her thought English learning is not big deal. It's, it's fun. It's interesting because it's a language. Even even you, I think nobody can say I, I could not learn English. You you go to the United States, no matter how his uh, how how where he come from, where his family background, you can you can learn language. Language learning is a human capability, we were born with that capability. And we, we all the focus on the slow learner. So what AOT do, we, we provide curr curriculum. Here we provide curriculum. And uh, I, I will skip those details. And then we provide you the training. Uh, we, we need, because the face-to-face -face teaching and online teaching are really different. You, 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 need to, you need to engage your learner. Face to face is easy, but online, you, you need to do something else to get their attention. You, you need to maintain their focus. And then we work with the local organization because they need to set up a computer room to get their uh, student into the computer room and you need an on-site teaching assistant. He need, he, the, the job of the on-site assistant, he, he will be teach the, the, the kid how to, how to use the software to join the online class 
and then he, he need to make sure the audio, the microphone working, and he, he need to keep the classroom in order, and he also need to supervise their homework after, we, because we only provide uh, one hour a week, one hour a week. Uh, make, uh, a couple of the, the, the class, they provide two hours a week, but due to our budget, we limited one hour a week. Because we pay, usually if you become a good uh, tutor, we pay five hundred uh, NT dollars an hour, which is uh, this is the average salary. And then for the beginner, uh, for the beginning tutor, we pay oh, sorry, we pay three hundred. And let me go to the uh, video. I have a prepared video to to show you. This is a two-minute video uh, introduction to AOT. <coughs> Do you have some? Sorry, I don't know. One thing I should like to mention about the differentiate from our English course to other uh, English programs because we focus on the positive learning attitude. Uh, some of the class they focus on the grade, how to help the, the, the student uh, getting good at speaking English, but we try to make the student feel comfortable about learning English. So it's a kind of a little bit different. So. The, the positive learning attitude focuses on the willingness and confidence and engagement. I'm not going to talk too many theory to this. Uh, let me show you two examples. The difference between regular English program and the positive learning attitude program. They have a, a, a slightly different. First, we call it conscious learning. And, and the other one is called subconscious learning. Subconscious learning is focused on the positive learning attitude. So I need to show you, uh, could, could you help me to, 
Good pray to be you. Wall Street is one of the most famous. Okay, this is the our class before 2018. Actually, we, we, we first of all we try to design many game or the the interaction to engage students to to speak English, and we try to make it fun. But it's still you we 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 we, we found those students in silence still don't want to engage with the teacher. This this way of teaching is not really helpful. Yeah, it, it bring up the intensity, it bring up the the engagement of the learner, but it's really not that successful. So that's why we change to subconscious learning. <coughs> All right. So can you guess what bed is? Can you guess what bed is? Can you guess what bed is? Can you try? Is it a bed? Very close. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? What is a glass? What is a glass? Can you guess what bed is? Can you guess what bed is? Very close. This is glass. So this is glass. Can you guess? All right. What's in the glass? 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 What's in what does this mean? And so, without introducing the teaching material, we just, let's pray. We do everything you, you can to get what this word means. And then the second step, we introduce the picture book. Oh. Red rose in glass. Red rose in glass. Very good. Scott, your mouth is very good. You can see Scott is very good. His A is out. Red rose in glass. Red rose in glass. So this A is very important. And the A is in the middle. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please kiss the man. Please kiss the man. Excellent. Wow. Wonderful. So after the picture book, just go ahead. on the rack. Give to left. Get the cup in the back. In back. Can't read me back. Get rose in back. Oh my god. Please kiss the man. What? 我刚刚太专注了，没听到大家。要不是闹你。Oh, it's pretty cool. Well, if it's in English, yes. Tell me, do you like singing? Let's do it together. 下句喽。Beast is back. 
Ben is that? Can't rest in bed. Can't rest in bed. Red rose is glass. Red rose is glass. Wow, Tony, I love your accent. Tony, the Korean, very good. Yeah. So every week is just a just a short sentence practice, and then the following six day, those help this volunteer have to go through those uh, tongue twister with them, and then help those kids familiar with those tongue twister once a week. So this is the way we introduce, uh, and we 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 found out that the kids really are getting uh, good progress. But we still have a couple of uh, challenges because, as we mentioned, we only have one hour a week. We need those volunteers to help them to, to, to make sure the computer room is uh, working and the homework assignment has been done and they practice those uh, tongue twister uh, until they're familiar with those uh, keywords. But we still have a repeated technical problem because we have some uh, some place, some places they don't have computer, so we 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 solicit secondhand computer from the university, but somehow those computer they do have a problem. It occurs again and again, so it really interrupt our teaching. And then of course there are many nonprofit organization in Taiwan. Everybody is fighting <laughs> to provide service to those. Uh, uh, low-income family in remote areas, so they still we still encounter interference from other events like like dancing, jumping, swimming, or even similar uh, 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 after-school program. And for our for our tutor, we they 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 prefer come uh, interaction with the active learner. So we we always stop them doing that. You need you, you need to leave time for those silent learners. So that's why every class, every after every class, they have to identify uh, which student is a silent learner. So next class, he have to find out. He had to interact with those silent learner more frequently. But our still our challenge is trying to prove. Uh, the positive learning attitude, this way of learning is a very effective. We, we need record and, and because we, we are sponsored by uh, some organization, they, they give us money, they only want to, do you have any significant improvement? So we are under such pressure, we need to show something. So recently what we do, we, we already, when kid, when the, the learner first attend our class, we, because every class have a recording, we will Individually, we will trace uh, their uh, interaction with the teacher every hour. So hopefully, we will find from the first hour to the thirty hour, we can tell the difference between their engagement and their uh, reaction to the to the teacher. We only, we cannot show by grade, by number. We only can show by their change of behavior. This is so. This is a kind of different from what the school did. Everyone have to be 90 or 100, no. You only have to pass this course and you show me you are confident. And you, sh you show me you think English is, is easy. You, have, you, are, you, you, you think you can handle the English class uh, with confidence. That's what, what we want to, to see. It's an attitude problem. So in the future, actually, we're going to have a more survey and research to find a better way to, 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 to improve their positive learning. And of course, we're going to, we need to volunteer team building and we are, we are seeking global partnership. And the, mention, the, the reason why I mentioned global partnership, I, I, uh, three days ago I was in Shanghai and I visited, because I tried to uh, copy the same idea. To, because China do have the same problem, even not only China, Japan, Korea, Indonesia, Malaysia. All the Asian countries have a similar problem. The low-income family they suffer from English learning. So that's why uh, we, I, I make a, a couple of promotion and I help I help them to build up their organization. They have to do their own fundraising. 
they have to do their own fundraising. But we are willing to 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 show them how to use this system because but you, the software you saw is uh, is our company product. It called Joinet. I, I found the company home meeting in Seattle in 1999. So we have been in this online meeting software for 20 years. So we are very. I, I, I'm, we, we know online meeting a lot. So we, we provide free online meeting software to, to all the nonprofit organizations particip participate in this program. So they, they feel good, they, they want to join. Uh, so I hope uh, a nonprofit organization not only should solve Taiwan's problem, we, if we find a solution to the world, we should open it. I think as a Taiwanese, we need to show our identity. We are we, we want to do contribute. We want to contribute to the global community. And this is even though AOD right now is small, but the idea is big. So not only this, uh, because our next phase, next phase, we we, we not we once we build up their confidence, we, we want to introduce our kid to the foreigner. So if you consider time zone, actually. Scandinavia, Scandinavia. I mean, the Scan Scandinavia is a, the good time zone because in the day of morning is our evening. So for after school program, uh, and the sweet the Swedish young man is really good because they, they are really open. They, they they don't have any dis discrimination. They are not like, not like American people. They will correct your English, but Swedish people they know they they just. They allow the poor English. They, the, the focus, they, they want to communicate with you. So the, the English grammar is not an issue. <coughs> it, it is your confidence. It's your willingness. It, it's, it's your engagement with other people. We, we call it neg negotiation of meaning. Language is a negotiation of meaning. It's not really you have to use the right grammar or you have to pronounce very good. No. As long as you know how to negotiate your meaning to other people, then you can talk, you can communicate. So that's why I, I prefer English is a second language for, for them. For if you are all second language, if English is all second, second language, then the communication will be more uh, stress-free. So that's why, I, I, that's why last year I spent a lot of time visiting uh, Sweden and Finland, I tried because they are willing to help Taiwan's uh, because they provide free as long as we we, 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 we we are ready, they are ready to help. So actually the resource is everywhere and we can come up with a good uh, organization to help Taiwan's uh, young men have confidence to engage conversation with people from every, everywhere. You, you know, you speak English to Japanese, you speak English to Korean, you speak in the English to everyone from Indonesia, from Malaysia. You don't need to speak perfect English to people from the United States. Don't forget that. You, 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 you make friends in Asia. You, English is a, is, is a good way to, to expand our territory and prove uh, Taiwan's identity. Instead of we, we want independent, no, we show our personality, we show our identity. This is Taiwanese. Okay, thank you for today's presentation. Okay. Do we have any questions who want to ask? Oh, question? Yes, yes, no. Do we provide. Uh, so I have to fine questions. Do, do we provide uh, those cameras, uh, are they in the same class? Uh, yeah, they, uh, with some exception, because we, we require four to six students in the class. Mm -hmm. But sometimes in, 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 the pre, in the computer room, they only have three, so we need to have one student from other place to join the same class online. Oh, okay. So, yes, they they belong to the same class, but they not necessarily sitting in the same classroom. So they could be sitting in the same classroom, and, and also, yeah, or from the other other place. classroom. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So that, that would be so cool. Yes. Okay. So, do you have any other questions for Doctor? No. 
Thanks for the wonderful speech. May we have President Jess to present our gift. Thank you, Joy. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first, uh, thanks to the Dr. Chen's informative speech. And second, uh, I would like to thank <coughs> four people to join the last night the uh, the uh, West South Club, my speech. And that, that is uh, PP Data, PP Steel, PP Simon, and PP Lu. So I was considered to give them a, a box of Agra. <laughs> it's a gift. That is a, that is a new kind of Agra. It's, it's actually it's very first. So you can try. <laughs> thank you, thank you for PP. Okay, today's the attendance rate is, the, well, today we have uh, 25 members attended meeting. No visiting vegetarians and four guests uh, from Joy. So we have a uh, 20, uh, 71 percent attendance rate. Very good. Um, thank you. Thank you. Next. Sergeant. Sergeant and Mars report. Now we have KB Oakley. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I didn't have any donate, donation uh, at the moment, but uh, I would like to share uh, a brand piece which I learned recently. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, here goes. If we toss up a green bee and let it drop on the ground, then what would happen for that green bee? <laughs> wow, you're good. You're good. <laughs> then they go to the next one. If I throw up one piece of banana and uh, let it drop on the ground, so what will happen for that poor banana? Uh, a round banana. Hmm. Yeah. So a round banana. Round <laughs> <laughs> Wow. The banana got bruised. He all changed. Okay. Uh, so if you if you like it, don't forget the donation. Next one. <laughs> Thank you, baby Oakley. Okay, what's coming next? Uh, August fifteenth, we we will move to the third floor of Nanjing again, okay, and we will have Jian Shi Chao Fu Jiao from Fengjian University, Sangshui Yuan Fu Yuan Zhang. Okay, and also that day will be ADG Claudio's visit, and then the next will be August twenty second. The same in the Mudan Ping on the third floor. There will be official visit of DG Paper. Okay, so please all the members uh, to attend those two meetings. Thank you. May we have? No. May we have President Jess to close the meeting. Okay. Thank you for coming. See you next week.